Hello! I'm so glad you're here today. We are going to read a book called The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle. Now, this book has a lot of animals in it and we are going to find out how to do the poses for all of them. First, we're going to take some deep breaths. So make sure you sit up nice and tall. You can choose to do elevator breathing, closing your mouth, breathing in and out through your nose. You could trace around your fingers up and down as you breathe in and out, or do another type of breathing that you would like to try. We'll do five breaths. Here we go. All right, The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. You know what? Let's do firefly pose. Forgot about that one. For firefly pose, we have to make the round shape of the lightning bug. Okay, so we're going to reach to our hand behind, reaching to our foot and pressing back to make that shape. Lean forward a little bit and use your arm to help you balance. Also look at one thing with your eyes to help you focus. Good. Now let's switch sides. Reach forward, reach other foot back. Nice and steady. Look at something to help you balance. Great work. Now, the sun came up in the morning and a friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But then a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Let's do ladybug pose. Come onto your knees with your feet underneath you. Reach your hands back and head down. You're around the ladybug. And a hungry ladybug. Rub your tummy. Let's see what it's hungry for today. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want these aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy la ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. No, oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew off. Hmm. All right, so let's see the ladybug flying out. Same pose, but you're going to reach your arms back and up. Okay, so reach your wings way up. Nice job. There he goes. Let's see who he can find to fight. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. No, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Okay, let's be this yellow jacket, which is a type of bee. Come onto your tippy toes with your knees together and reach your arms back like wings. You can flutter them and you can hum like a bee. Whoa, good job. At seven o'clock, it stops stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. No, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off again. Come on to your back, the beetle pose. Reach your hands to your feet and wiggle back and forth, side to side. Yeah. Good. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, 
said the praying mantis, reaching out with his front long legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Hags are going into the praying mantis pose. Put one knee down, one foot forward, and then reach your praying mantis arms up. Good. And let's do the other side. Other foot. Reach your arms up. Good job. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Sparrow pose. Come onto your foot. Reach your other foot back slowly while reaching your arms or your wings up to the side. Take three breaths. Good. Let's do the other leg. Balancing on the other side, it might be different. That's okay, stretch your foot back. Reach your arms out. Look at one spot to help you balance. Nice work. It's a good balance. At 10 o'clock, I saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Aw, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And flew off. Come onto your knees for lobster pose. Put your feet together like a tail and then reach your lobster claws up. Good, wave them around. Good, like you're reaching for that ladybug. Ooh, I got it. I got it. I gotcha. Gotcha. Nice job. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? You insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. So for skunk, we gotta get our tail ready. Come onto your knees, put your forearms on the floor, and then when you're ready to lift your tail, tuck your toes, lift up. Ew, do that one more time. Ready, lift up. Good job, silly skunks. At 12 noon, spotted a boa constrictor, a snake. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Snake pose, come onto your belly, all the way down, feet together, like a tail, and then we're going to slither side to side. And press into your hands to lift all the way up. Three, two, one. Nice job. It's a big snake. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Hyena pose on your hands and feet. Reach one arm forward, one foot back, your claws. Good. Other foot. Other foot. Show your teeth. Good. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Gorilla pose, this one's kind of tricky. Bring your arms really long, all the way onto your feet. You're gonna grab onto your toes. You can bend your knees and slide your hands underneath your toes. Press down, and then lift your hips up. Good, gorilla pose. That's a hard one. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. 
Oh, you're not big enough. So the grouchy ladybug and flew off again. Rhino pose, hands and knees. We're gonna move our head way up and down. Up and down. And up and down. One more, up and down. That's a very heavy horn. Woo. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist of the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. All right, elephant pose, feet wide, arms together like a big trunk, lower your trunk down and sway side to side. And then press in with your feet and reach your arms all the way up and lower. Good. And let's go the other way up and lower. Big elephant pose. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? But the whale didn't answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Okay, let's do whale pose. Sit on your bottom with your feet down and your hands down. Bring your fingers away from your body. Reach your other hand up and press up for whale. Whoa, that's a big whale. Do your other hand. So other hand down, reach your other hand up, press up. Big whale pose. Oh, it's a giant whale. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, hey, you want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. Let's be one of the flippers. So press in with your hands like this. Bring your flipper up. Other flipper. The grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, hey, you want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. Let's be the whale's fin. Come on, your tummy. Reach your arms back like a triangle. Lift your arms up like the triangle of the fin. Good, lift up. Wow, it's a big whale. Quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap. All right, now we have to be the whale's tail. This is the hard part. Come all the way down on your back. Put your arms up above. You're going to press and lift up like the whale. And then lift your tail. Whoa. Good. Other foot. Lower down. That was a big whale tail. Oh my goodness. And it slapped that ladybug. <gasps> that it flew across the sea and across the land. And at six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started from. Oh, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, hungry ladybug. Let's come back down to ladybug pose. Hands down, head down, and we're gonna rest. I'm not flying anymore. Take a slow breath. One more. Soon, all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both the ladybugs, and they went to sleep. Fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon.
big and very nice job. Thank you so much for being here and doing that book with me. Let's take a few calming breaths. You can close your eyes this time. Noticing your breathing coming from your belly. Relax your shoulders down. Very nice job. I hope to see you all again very soon and go on to do whatever you are doing next in your day with some peace and some calm and not so much grouchiness. Thank you. Bye.